The Moto G5 S Plus is Lenovo's attempt at entering the mid-range dual camera market and it succeeds the G5 Plus but comes with an updated camera hardware as well as a larger screen. Let's take a look at how this device performs in real life. This is Sandy from Rev Atlas and let's get this video started. The Moto G5 S Plus has an outstanding build quality. It feels really solid and overall has a certain weight to it that feels premium but is well distributed. I personally like the Luna Grey color over the flush gold since the Luna Grey has a black front panel that hides the ports and cutouts much better than the white panel of the plush gold variant. The device has a pretty soft touch finish at the back that feels good to hold and provides grip especially due to the curved back and there are also redesigned antenna lines that are quite prominent in terms of the looks itself. Apart from that, the device also comes with a nano resistant splash coating that will protect your devices from accidental splashes as well as a light drizzle, however you can't use it in heavy rain or underwater. The device has a 5.5 inch 1080p IPS screen up front and it actually has really good vibrancy as well as sharpness. However, the sunlight legibility is impacted a bit due to the reflective screen. It's good but not that great in terms of sunlight legibility. It's protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 3 which does a good job at protecting it from scratches and it also has 2.5D curved effect at the edges even though it's not as pronounced as most of the other models out there. The G5 S Plus doesn't actually have a notification light and that's because it makes use of the Moto display feature which actually wakes up your phone from sleep for a specified duration in order to show you what you've missed. So it shows you all the different notifications etc for a specified time and then goes back to sleep. Now this can be customized to your liking and it also does save the battery quite a bit by using the proximity sensor. So if you're on a call or if it's in your pocket or if it's actually face down on a table, the display won't actually light up. And one pro tip about this is actually to disable all the apps that give notifications too often in order to save your battery life, otherwise the screen would turn on too often and that would actually impact your battery life as well. The device also has a Moto display feature that cuts out the amount of blue light emitted by the screen and you can even choose a prefix time in order to switch it on and off. Beneath the display is a fingerprint scanner that's always active and is quite accurate as well as fast. But what's different about this is that you can use it not just for unlocking the phone but also for locking the phone. In order to unlock the phone you need to have a registered fingerprint but just about any other finger works with a long press in order to lock the device itself. It also does a good job at detecting your fingerprints even if it's relatively wet or sweaty. However, there is a bit of a delay when it comes to displaying the UI elements on the phone itself. Now, if you want to make use of the home button, the fingerprint scanner doesn't double up as a home button. Instead, you'll have to make use of the three on-screen navigation keys. And while that's not really an issue, it may take some people a bit of a learning curve in order to get used to that, unless you have used one of the more recent Moto phones. The performance on this device is snappy, not just because of the four gigs of RAM and the Snapdragon 625 chip, it, but also because it runs stock Android 7.1.1 Nougat out of the box. It also performs well when it comes to gaming and we didn't face any heating issues such as the ones that we found on the K8 Note which got quite warm after a bit of gaming. The device also has 32 gigs or 64 gigs of internal storage that can further be expanded by up to 256 gigs using micro SD cards through the hybrid dual SIM card slot. The call quality is really good and the speakerphone is surprisingly loud. The earpiece and the speakerphone both provide loud enough output for any situation that you may be in and your audio is also related to the party at the other end really good thanks to the dedicated noise cancelling microphone as well. Coming to the audio quality, the loudspeaker does provide really good output even though it's a mono experience and the 3.5mm audio jack also outputs really good audio with good dynamic range and minimal stereo crosstalk. The camera experience on the Moto G5 S Plus is one aspect that is underwhelming. Apart from the smiley face that the camera module makes, the dual 13 megapixel RGB plus monochrome sensors with f2 aperture really fail to impress. The front camera is a bit better in that aspect but we'll really let you be the judge of that and you can follow our full flesh camera re review from the link in the description below. The 3000 mAh battery on board is non-removable and gives the screen on time of around 5 to 5.5 five hours which is less than the likes of the Lenovo K8 Note as well as the Redmi Note 4 and even compared to the Mi 5X which gives up to 6 hours. The Mi A1 which is running on stock Android should give even better battery life. But Motorola have included something that should make up for it, well almost, and that is the Moto Turbo Power which charges your phone from 15% to 100% in 1 hour 20 minutes. So you'll need to make use of the bundle charger in order to get the full charging speeds but at least that sort of saves it in some way. Don't go for the Moto G5 S Plus if you're looking for a smartphone with good camera quality. There are better options on the market to do that. However, go for the G5 Plus if you want a stock Android experience, if you want to get updates pretty fast, if you want a smooth overall performance, decent battery life with fast charging and overall stellar build quality. That's it for the review guys. Thanks again for watching. See you again in the next one. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to get the latest updates from us. 
Thanks for watching this video. See you again in the next one.